Have you ever wondered how the internet works? Well, it's a lot like a global highway system, but instead of cars and trucks, it's data that's being transported. At its core, the internet is a massive network of interconnected devices, all communicating with one another. These devices include everything from the computer or smartphone in your hand, to servers in data centers, to routers that direct traffic. And just like cars on a highway need rules of the road, these devices need standardized communication protocols to exchange data. One such protocol is TCP IP, or Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol, which is essentially the language of the Internet. It ensures that data packets are correctly sent and received, regardless of where they're headed. So, even though the Internet might seem complex, it's fundamentally about connecting and communicating. With the basics defined, let's move on to understanding how we connect to this global network. In the early days of the Internet, dial-up was the king. It used the familiar phone line to connect your computer to the world, through that distinctive sequence of beeps, buzzes and static noise. But as charming as the nostalgia might be, dial-up had its limitations, with speed being the most significant one. Then came the era of broadband, a game-changer in Internet connectivity, Broadband introduced us to high-speed connections in various forms. There's Digital Subscriber Line, or DSL, which repurposed our existing phone lines. Cable Internet tapped into our TV cables and offered even higher speeds. Fiber optic connections, the speed demons of the Internet world, used light signals to transmit data at lightning-fast speeds. And for those in remote areas, there was Satellite Internet, although it did suffer from latency due to the long distances involved. While these wired connections have their merits, the rise of wireless technology has revolutionized our approach to internet connectivity. Wireless connectivity, the freedom to connect from anywhere. The advent of wireless connections like Wi-Fi and mobile data such as 3G, 4G and the lightning fast 5G has revolutionized the way we access the internet. These technologies provide us with the convenience of connecting to the Internet from almost anywhere, anytime. But let's not forget Ethernet, a stalwart in the world of connectivity. Ethernet connections use cables to directly link devices to a network router or modem. This form of connectivity is common in homes, offices and academic institutions, offering reliable high-speed Internet access. And then there's the Internet of Things or IoT, a rapidly growing field that's reshaping our Internet landscape. IoT devices, ranging from smart appliances to wearable tech, utilize wireless technologies to communicate with each other and the Internet. This enables seamless integration and automation in various aspects of our daily lives and industries. From wired to wireless, traditional to cutting edge, understanding these means of connectivity is a stepping stone in the fascinating realm of computer science.